10 celebrities who are a nightmare to work with. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Everlasting Luxury. So friend, let's start our videos about making movies looks like a fun career unless you grind to a halt with a talent known for being the worst actors to work with. Variety of those public figures and famous actors are difficult to work with because they're so serious. Some have a reputation for being divas and a couple of have terrible tempers. This list features the four most notoriously difficult actors to work with in and is loosely ranked by fame and recognition. Being an actor involves having an ego. Some elite Hollywood actors, however, let their egos get the best of them. We've gathered this list of the most four most difficult actors to work with. First up, Daniel Day-Lewis. Though Daniel Day-Lewis's method of acting doesn't fail to urge results, that does not mean it makes him any easier to figure with. His acting yields captivating performance in films like My Left Foot and Daryl B. Blood. But his onset reputation is a smaller amount than stellar. For My Left Foot, he refused to go away from his wheelchair while playing his paralyzed character, forcing resentful crew members to hold him around set. While filming Daryl B. Blood, Day-Lewis threw bowling balls at co-star Paul Dano for one scene. Jennifer Lopez Jennifer Lopez is claimed to possess an extended list of demands that has got to be met if she decides to work in a film, at a hotel, or an occasion just like the World Music Awards in 2010. The outline she gives for the position seems like something out of a drama or romantic comedy. The applicants got to be at her back and involved in all things in the least times and are expected to be grateful. She is understood to throw fits if she doesn't get her way. Next up, Madonna she is extremely much a self-centered individual despite her acts to the contrary. During one interview session, she went thus far on schedule on the interview beforehand then cancels on the day of the interview with no explanation in the least. Once the interviewer was allowed to finally speak to Madonna, she acted quite rude and didn't answer any questions unless they were directed at her achievements and work ethic. Many fans might love her, but given this sort of treatment, it stands to reason that a lot of might choose instead to easily distance themselves from the fabric girl. Madonna is employed to being responsible for everything she does, which makes her a really difficult actress to figure with. She features a reputation for not taking direction, often to the detriment of her films. Next up, Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone is understood to throw fits if she doesn't get her way on set. Wonder Boy director Pupi Avati publicly slammed this Sharon Stone. She is rumored to be so terrible to figure thereupon nobody will hire her. She was said to have caused so much trouble in the set of a Wonder Boy because she repeatedly left filming to use the Assembly MasterCard on personal shopping trips. While filming a love scene, she reportedly bit Baldwin's tongue so hard that he was unable to talk every week. Bruce Willis Resisting rumors about this difficult nature for years, Bruce Willis is understood for enjoying action heroes and occasional dramatic roles The Sixth Sense. Director Kevin Smith said working with him an opt-out was soul-crushing. Willis may be a notoriously poor interview subject as well. The third Expendables film dropped him for demanding a better fee. He also starred within the 90s classic The Insight and even found a time to star during a few rom-com along the way. Next up, Dustin Hoffman Dustin Hoffman has been hitting the headlines for all the incorrect reasons lately, but before the allegations of sexual misconduct emerged, Hoffman was notorious in Hollywood for being extremely difficult to figure with. The actor may be a perfectionist who insists on redoing takes time after time, but it's his dedication to method acting that frequently has negative consequences for his co-stars. Moving on, we have Russell Crowe. He got into a serious row with producer Malcolm Jerry when the Baptist had to chop out a poem he had recited in honor of the late actor Richard Harris. He was involved in several noisy fights among a group of people and was arrested for the second degree of attack in New York City after hurting the telephone at a hotel receptionist in 2005. Next up, January Jones. Actress January Jones is best known for enjoying Betty Draper with the popular AMC series Mad Men. And this lack of roles may need something to try to do with the very fact that she's not the simplest person within the world to urge alongside. One among the kid actors who worked on Mad Men revealed that Jones is often a touch of an ice queen Jared Gilmore's told TV Guide. Be careful around January. She's not as approachable because of the others. She's really serious about what she does. Everyone else is so nice. Jones also had a much more public spat with comedian Zach Galifianakis. Moving on, Edward Norton. 
Ed Norton is a superb actor, but it seems as if he features a terrible attitude to travel alongside his talents. He has starred in a huge number of hits, including Fight Club and American History. But behind the apparent acting skills, Norton is notoriously difficult to figure with, according to reports surfacing from the films he's worked on. Next up, Sean Young. The name won't sound too familiar nowadays, but you'll recognize the face of Sean Young, who played Rachel in 1982's Blade Runner. Her co-star within the boost, James Woods, ended up filing a case of $6 million against her for alleged cases of stalking and harassment. Sean Young is so difficult to figure thereupon, Stone fired her from his 1987 film Wall Street. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing videos from us.